Hello friends, thank you very much for joining in. We are going to be starting out with this very interesting video on which I will be talking about how to revise the marketer's book for your FRM level 2. And hello friends, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And also I help FRM and CFA students to clear the exam in the first attempt. Okay, so let us start with this video and the agenda for today, the discussion that I'm going to be covering in the video is that primarily I'll be giving you the bifurcation of the chapters that you should go for the marketer's book. Okay, in, in what manner you should cover that chapter. Also, the revision, when you're looking at the revision, how should you do the revision, in which order you should do the revision. And further, I'll be also giving you important concepts from each chapter. Okay, which I feel is, uh, is might get tested in your exam. So that I'll be covering further. I'll give you a brief snapshot of what five or six important chapters I feel from the from the book and also what are the important concepts that can be tested in your exam and few important tips for your exam preparation for that book specific. Okay, so let us start with that part. So bifurcation of chapters. So what I have done for the marketer's book is when I, when I look at the entire book, I see that there are for certain chapters around four chapters. There is parametric approach, non-parametric approach, then there is war mapping and all of it. So those chapters can be combined into a war risk related bucket. Okay, we should do, you should do these chapters together. And there are, there are certain chapters which are specifically related to correlation. Right, they are talking about how the correlation is, uh, says they have given you different products and how the correlation has been given from the regulator perspective. Okay, so those chapters can, should be read in one go. Further, there are around four chapters which are focused explicitly on the term structure. That means the interest rate uh, creation, the yield curve creation logic. So there are certain models which are in which are in that chapter, so which is important for your exam also. And that those four chapters has to be done in one go. And there are certain other chapters which are slightly standalone chapters like volatility smiles and the fundamental review of the trading book. So those chapters are also being categorized into the fourth bucket. So I'll go to go in terms of the revision. Okay. So first you should pick up the VAR related chapters in one go and complete it. Then come towards the correlation related chapters and then come towards the term structure related chapter, do it in one go. And then at the end, you can focus on those theory chapters, which are standalone. Okay. So let me give you the bifurcation of the bucket. Okay, so if you look at the first bucket, which is the war related chapters. So the first chapter of the book itself, which is estimating market risk measure. Now this chapter is there to connect it back to the level one war related concept that you have done. So it will give you a brief up, brush up and what is a data? How do you assess and understand data? How do you, what kind of data that you take? Okay, for analyzing war is basically covered in that topic. Okay, then the next two chapters they are talking about more parametric approach and non-parametric approach. In level one, we talked about that parametric approach takes an assumption of a distribution, but non-parametric approach does not take it. So that has been bifurcated in individual chapters and they are primarily focusing on how parametric and non-parametric approach is being carried out in real life with bank in terms of calculation of VAR. Okay. Now once the calculation part has been completed, they are now talking there are two more chapters which are focused on backtesting of VAR and also on VAR mapping. Okay. Now these two chapters are very important for your exam perspective because they are connected back to the regulators requirement. Okay. Especially the backtesting VAR. Okay. And VAR mapping is important. Why? Because they are telling you that okay, once you've calculated the VAR, how exactly you can map those VARs or basically if you want to calculate VAR in a very effective way, you can do VAR mapping process also. So that is being covered in that bucket. Then you have the second bucket, which is the correlation related bucket. Now in this correlation uh, related buckets, the main theme is correlation. But the chapters are independent of each other primarily. Okay. So if you look at the correlation basics, they are, they are taking you back to level one. They are talking about the correlation method, how correlation increasing of correlation will lead to reduction of diversification, all of that, which is already done in your level one. There are certain content which is related and certain which is new in this chapter. Then if you look at these chapters, which is properties and how the correlation actually impacts, both of these chapters are related to real life world implication of correlation. Okay. And they are tested in the exam, especially uh, the correlation, empirical properties of correlation is slightly tested in the exam. Okay. The last chapter, which is financial correlation modeling, this is nothing but Coppola. So they are giving you the same refresher 
of what they have done in level one but over there it was more focused from the joint probability distribution perspective but in this book it is more focused from the uh, content related to your uh, correlation okay so this is the second bucket so we completed two buckets war related chapters and correlation related chapters the third bucket is term structure related chapter this is the main bucket of the book okay and if you look at this bucket the, there are the first two chapters are very very important for your exam perspective because this gives you a base how the term structure is actually created what is the logic of the term structure and then they take you towards the models also so they have given you in the uh, chapter in these two chapters plus the other chapter they are talking about the models the Hooli model Wysak model model 1 model 2 how the models are used to create the term structure these models are very important for your exam and that can get tested in theory also okay from the calculation perspective there might be questions from these bucket but very very less chances that they might ask you explicit heavy calculation okay there is one more chapter which is again model driven chapter but this is a higher end model or related content so this will primarily be tested in terms of theory only in your exam so this is the third bucket that we completed for the market risk book okay then there are certain standalone chapters which are not related to the entire theme of the book okay the the first chapter that you should do from this is volatility smiles now this chapter is connected to your black shoes model that you did in frm level one okay because over there we talked about implied volatility this chapter volatility smile is actually a base okay the implied volatility is the base of this chapter okay there was some reference in your level one with related to this volatility smiles which is now covered in this entire book okay then there is one more chapter which is uh, related to risk metrics and hedging this chapter is connected to your dv01 okay which was there in your level one so they are taking you one step ahead and trying to explain you how exactly the real life challenges that you face when you do dv 01 related hedging and how should you overcome that challenge okay then there is one chapter which is message from academic literature now this chapter they are primarily focused more on the uh, entire overview of market risk and how we have seen what all things uh, problems we have seen and what all things we have learned from the historical data analysis for market risk perspective so this chapter is very theoretical okay but you should focus on getting the crux of the chapter now the last chapter which is there which you see on in the list which is fundamental rule of trading book this is actually connected to basil which is covered in your operation risk book so if you want to do it you can complete the basil related chapters in the operation then do it along with this chapter also okay so this was the entire bifurcation of the market risk book now we will go towards the individual chapter and try to see what all important concepts are there for your exam okay so let us go to the first chapter which is estimating market risk measure in that chapter the quantile quantile plot is very very important you can expect a diagram or theory related question in the exam plus the standard so there is one exact bigger sum there is one proper sum which tells you how to create confidence interval okay when we calculate var and we pick up a quantile okay how to create a confidence interval with respect to that quantile that has been explained in detail with that sum so those two topics are important for your first chapter the second chapter which is non-parametric this chapter is slightly heavy in terms of the reading okay but there are different methods which are given in terms of the surrogate method then there is a correlation driven method so all of this method has to be remembered for your exam the basics of it that is what the content is talking about okay for the third chapter okay the parametric approach evt so in level one they talked about the tail but the extreme value theory takes you inside the tail and then you do assessment of that in tail also that is one a very important concept which can get tested in theory in theory for the exam there's also pre over uh, threshold uh, approach which is mostly in theory but i expect at least one concept will get tested in your exam from this chapter okay next is backtesting var and uh, var mapping both of them are very very important chapter especially backtesting var where they're connecting it to the basal rule which is important for you and understanding of when you're doing the backtesting how type 1 error will impact you and how type 2 error will impact you so that is also very important for you to remember for the exam so these are the two important concepts from the chapter we should remember and which can get tested. War mapping, uh, there is only one learning objective which tells you how the fixed income portfolio is mapped to the 
to the var risk factors so that is what is important for your exam the next chapter okay is primarily related to message from the academic literature on the uh, with respect to risk management and they are focusing on the market risk hence they are talking about the trading book okay if you look at that there uh, this exogenous endogenous this this part the liquidity risk related concept which is going to impact your var because when you are trying to offload your security when you are trying to exit from the position if there is no liquidity in the market you will obviously not be able to exit and you will face you will keep on facing the market risk so that is why this chat this concept is connected with the liquidity risk and this will again come in in your liquidity risk book also so this is also important for your exam perspective and so i have added this as a important concept let me take you towards the next chapter which is base correlation basic so this chapter is very very related to your pre level 1 content okay they are again talking about the the important concept over here is the concentration risk uh, systematic in the concentration risk so there is there are few sums that they have shown you how the concentration risk is going to impact your portfolio so that is also very important for the exam if you look at the next chapter empirical properties of correlation and how do correlation behave in, in real world in this chapter okay this concept this is a one pager concept the best fit distribution has been tested in your exam previously okay and also this concept of mean revision has been tested so for the exam perspective you should make sure that you read this chapter properly it's a small theory driven chapter not to worry about okay next chapter financial correlation modeling again this is related to gaussian's cupola gaussian cupola being the more uh, standard cupola which is used to understand the correlation between two or three variables okay unknown variables primarily then there is t distribution cupola also but gaussian cupola is slightly important for your exam perspective The next chapter is empirical approach to risk metrics and hedging. When we talk about this chapter, uh, they are more concerned about how you want to what what is the problem with your basic DV zero one hedging and how you can improve that basic DV zero one hedging. What was the base? The, what was the assumption that you did in level one and how that assumption is uh, not applicable to real world and how you can improve it? Okay, so this is the first crux of this chapter, which is important, and also they are trying to help you understand. how you can improve the hedge by doing regression okay so the regression related concept is also going to get connected in this chapter so book 2 and book 4 related content is there in this chapter okay let us go to the next chapter which is related to art of the term structure i think so i missed one chapter okay this is related to uh, the science of the term structure there is a typo small typo over here the science of the term structure related content this is the first chapter from your a uh, term structure related part and in that okay the, they have given you an oppo opportunity to value the security the fixed income security using a binomial tree okay that is very very important for your exam and also been tested in the past exam also there is one one more uh, uh, question or content related to constant maturity swap which was also tested in your exam so both of these content content is important from your science of the term structure model chapter then there is next chapter which is evolution of the short term rate okay now the main focus over here is that how the shape of the term structure is going to change what are factors are going to impact okay so those things in that thing they have taken a zero cone model they have done a they have, they have done a pricing in terms of the risk premium that is all very very important for your exam you can focus on that and art of the term structure this is model driven chapter how different models are there okay and those model which only take drift okay that is being covered over here out of that the huli and the vizac model is very very important in terms of the formula in terms of the content what are the problems with that model very very important then there is the last chapter in the term structure which talks about models which are based on volatility and the distribution drift plus that so cir model is important for your exam perspective okay so this was the content related to the term structure there are few more chapters from your book the volatility smile now what already smile they have taken you taken uh, in detail on this chapter with respect to how implied volatility distribution can help you understand the foreign exchange related products and the equity so if you look at the entire chapter these two are the important concept in your chapter if you if you are able to do this chapter this two concept properly the chapter is almost done okay and especially the foreign currency is heavily tested in your exam so please make sure that you go through this content before the exam okay uh, the fundamental review of trading books very small chapter theory driven chapter revision which the changes that has been brought to the frtb uh, uh, regulation after the basel thing that is very very important for your exam 
So over here we have tried to complete the entire book and I've gone through the entire chapters, each chapter highlighting the important concepts. Okay. Now few important chapters which I feel can get tested in your exam heavily. So those chapters are the science of the term structure. This was the first chapter of your term structure four chapter series. Then the evolution of the term structure. This was the second chapter for your term structure. These two are important for your exam. Plus volatility smiles specifically from the perspective of a foreign currency uh, related product. So that can get tested. Then back testing and war mapping. These are also very, very important. If you want to do this chapter fast, if this book fast and focus on important chapter, you can definitely focus on these five chapters first and then go to the other chapters. Okay. Top important concepts, which I feel from the exam that can get tested. Okay. Quantile, quantile plot from the first chapter is important for your exam. Basal rule of back testing, like I said in the previous one, is very, very important. They might test you on this concept because this has already been tested in the exam. Okay. DV01 related hedge. That the how to improve the DV01. This is also important. I feel that they can get they can test you in the exam. Huli and the Vizak model, like I've already said, important for your exam and volatility smile foreign currency part. Okay. Now, few quick tips for your exam perspective. Please make sure that this chapter this chapter is very this book is very very important so you read the book twice properly before the exam and solve the question bank twice when we are saying solve the question bank twice that means solve the question bank once properly and then when you are revising look at the question bank also properly this will help you to cover this book properly in a very easy manner focus on the concept okay because this chapter is not this book is not uh, theory driven it's more concept driven understanding given there are certain sections which are formula also so that can get clubbed in your credit risk book itself so this book and generally they have we have seen in the exam tendency is that market risk and the credit risk is clubbed together to ask you questions okay so that has also been covered over here okay you should focus and expect a question which are clubbed in your exam okay so for people who want to prepare for F frm level 2 okay we also train for frm level 2 we provide live online training Plus, we also provide a uh, live, uh, we also provide video lecture package for students who cannot prepare on their own or primarily they need assistance and they are working on a full time job. So we can we can help you out with the video lecture package. We cover the entire Swagger book end to end plus additional material which we have. We do it through our entire uh, part in terms of PPT. Okay. If you want to prepare for FRM level 2 and you are looking out for some free material, you can reach out to us on our WhatsApp number. Also, if you are looking out for the FRM level 2 free plan, how should you start, which chapters you should start, then you can reach out to us on this number. Okay. I hope uh, everybody is part of my uh, Telegram channel where I constantly keep on updating my uh, uh, the details related to the exam, important updates and also content and jobs postings are also done through the in, on this telegram channel so i hope everybody is a part of this uh, channel also okay if you feel that i, I should be i should do some uh, video on a particular content some queries that you might have related to the exam you can let it us let it us on the comment section of any of our video we look at that seriously and we create content on the basis of that also in case you want to talk to me one to one in terms of your preparation i would uh, try to give you time so you can reach out to me on whatsapp okay the link is also there on the description of the video okay and i will try to give you a call back as soon as possible do subscribe to our channel because uh, whenever i keep on adding new videos with respect to the query with respect to the understanding of the exam it will be easy for you to go through that video properly okay so thank you very much for joining in guys and we'll come up with more such exciting videos for your exam thank you